Welcome back to Dayton Cichlids. Today I'll be covering a very popular type of fish from Lake Tanganyika, fish from the genus Julitochromus. The particular species I'm sharing is the Julitochromus marlari. It's a torpedo-shaped fish that is commonly found darting in and out of rocks. Some say that it's popular in the aquarium hobby due to its resemblance and behavior similarities to some saltwater fish. Marlari will grow to be approximately 5 inches in length under proper water and feeding conditions. Males of this species are actually smaller than females at full maturity. Julitochromus marlari is affectionately known as the spotted julie. Ideal water temperatures for all Julitochromus species land somewhere between 77 and 79 degrees Fahrenheit. A high pH of around 8.5 to 8.7 will allow marlari to thrive. Breeding this species is easy once a mature pair is formed. It is highly recommended that all rock structures and other decor remain stationary after this process has occurred, as Julitochromus are quite territorial and can display aggression. Eggs are commonly spawned in crevices within rock caves, so plenty of structure, such as the lace rock seen here, or holy rock, is a requirement. Julitochromus marlari can be found displaying several slight color variations depending on the locale in which the initial strain was collected. Common strains include Burundi, Magara, and Carlani. The specimens see, seen here are most likely derivatives of the Burundi line, known for their dark bold striping and blue fin highlights. Minimum tank size requirements are typically 20 to 30 gallons for one pair. Common tank mates include many of the Lake Tinganyikan substrate and shell dwelling species, including Neolamprologus brevis, as seen here, Altolamprologus calvus, Neolamprologus caudopunctatus, and even schooling species such as the Cyprochromus leptosoma. Julitochromus marlari is an excellent fish to add to your Lake Tinganyikan community aquarium. It is a joy to watch and displays beautiful patterns and color. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Cichlid Profiles.